A lot of people don't know about the naming convention. It's quite exclusive. The Council of Elders meets once a squealoo and decides what everything is to be called. You don't know what a squealoo is? Dig deep. You've got this. No, not that deep. You'll hurt yourself. The naming convention is held at Lowe's, which of course used to be a home improvement store, but since the dissolution of all society, has become a stronghold for the resistance. You are unsure what exactly that it is they are resisting against, as there is not any form of tyranny, or governance of any kind really. The only system of governance comes in the form of the naming convention, which you are now at. You start to wonder if perhaps you aren't the thing that you are supposed to be resisting. The keynote speaker this year is Dr. Carl Tickentock. He is largely attributed with the invention of time. He is a stately dresser and well-spoken, if somewhat eccentric. The general belief is that time was actually created by one of his research assistants, and he took credit for the invention. You've never heard of such an absurdity, and dismiss it right away. The father of time gives a presentation that lasts 55 hours, but only feels like 7 minutes. You don't think about it as you feel your paradox starting to act up again. The naming convention hasn't really been about naming for a while. It's become more of a social club for the culturally elite to gather and brag about the mastery over what is left of existence. Every time you meet, you get asked about how you survive for the end of the world, a question you have no answer to, a question you have never wanted. An answer to. Once the convention closes, you are given this period's pamphlet of what things are to be called. You read it and are appalled. Cars are now to be referred to as trundle bugs. This is absolutely no way you'll start using that ridiculous word, regardless what the convention has to say about it. You thank Father Time for his work in the fields of temporal-spatial relations. He asks if he can come over sometime and observe your space-time vortex. You slap him square across the face for being so fresh and walk away in a huff. <laughs> Academics. You stumble to the parking lot and traverse it for what seems like hours looking for your car. After a time, you decide to just give up the ghost and walk home. Just as you start to make your way to the street, you spy your faithful trundle bug. This has been, this has been an informative, informative road trip. Road trip.